Well, hello and welcome along to everyone who's uh, joining us for our live broadcast today. We are full steam ahead for this from the gantry, but we have to report to you first up that the match itself, whilst not jeopardised by the weather, certainly may have its dynamic affected by this torrential steroid rain which is uh, upon us and which has appeared almost from nowhere in the uh, hour or so up to kick-off. It could prove a considerable test for the officials and certainly for the players. We do have our fingers crossed that it won't affect the uh, game itself, but I tell you what, this could be a bit different. It is a venue this which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Lorenzo Insigne. One thing he excels at is cutting inside from that left wing, Peter, to take a shot with his right. He's far from a one-trick pony, though, and he's really good at varying his game depending on how the opposition are, are shaping up. Usually, he finds space and he does something very good with it. I think the opposition defence agreed, too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. So off we go then. Spinazzola. Acerbi. Benucci. Serbi, Marco Verratti, Lorenzo Insigne, Spinazzola, Insigne is on to it and can take it up, and a header! Marvellous goal! It's hardly a surprise, is it? That's what we're here for, a player with this wonderful knack of being able to show up and deliver at important times. Yet, yet another example. A great delivery and a finish to match. Well, look, it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. Italy take the early advantage. And here's Arnautovic, and it's Alaba. Spinazzola with a fine tackle. Lorenzo Insigne. Florenzi. Serbi. Italy have hit the front early, a foothold in the game. Well, they've managed to get their noses in front early because they've been much quicker out of the stalls. They've set a high tempo and intensity and look as though they, they want it much more at the moment. Now it's Immobile. Immobile! And in it goes! And already they're looking to run away with it. Italy are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Italy have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Alaba, looking to get within, has a pop! 
That's a half decent try. Played it short. It's not a play, and it is a goal kick. Marco Verratti. Spinazzola tries to get it forward quickly. Insigne goes for the cross. Goalkeeper's ball. And that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. I just think it was a, a cheap foul to give away. And it's Alaba. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Chiesa displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Baumgart Linga. Time to deliver. They have themselves another corner. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Balls out on the left now. Italy are ahead here, it has been a good half for them. Dragovic. Half time getting close now. Dragovic. Immobile, two goals to his name already. Spinazzola tries to switch the play. There is the half-time whistle. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Italy are two up and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism, it could have been three. Italy sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. Start of the second half. Alaba. Right through the middle. Now the less. Gets it upfield. Good idea, just poorly executed. Time added on will be two minutes. loose who's getting there the referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle a decent win by a very competent performance without doubt they were the better side and the result reflects as much how would you sum up what we've witnessed Jim Italy had a very simple tactic to implement Peter and they exposed their opposition with expansive incision 
and I just really liked what I saw here. Well, thanks for your company, Jim, and a very good day to you.